Well, we always got to remember that the car is still the, it's the same car. It's just we, um, at one point, we thought we needed to change a lot on the car. And actually, we changed the rear floor and we changed the front wing. And they kind of seemed to just switch, switch it over to, a, you know, it felt pretty awesome in the last race. There's been a lockdown, so uh, that's for every team. So no one was able to do any development. Everyone's come back into work today and the wind tunnels just started running again. So back to, uh, back to where we were again. There's a huge amount of, of work that's gone on back in the background to, to make sure that this car has got, you know, we've not struggled with reliability. We've not struggled with the engine cooling or brakes or anything like that. It's just been getting the car to suck down to the ground as, as much as possible is a huge boost, um, not only from, from my point of view, for, for the whole team. Um, but we've got to remember, we've got to keep on pushing because that's what everyone else is doing. Um, mental, my mental state is, uh, I couldn't be better. I've, it's the best feeling I've had all year. Um, to come off a, of, a, of a winning weekend, going on the holiday, everyone's had a great feeling. Um, coming back, it's back to um, the grind. We've got to keep pushing. We've got to keep going. Um, but knowing that we're going into the race weekend into Valencia, it's a track I like. Um, two great w uh, race weekends hopefully coming up. Valencia is a great circuit, being a street circuit as well. Then we don't really have much time. It's a back-to-back -back race with Spa, which is one of the best tracks in the world. So ex very excited for these two races and just to get back in a car, you know. I stand next to it and I know what it's like being in this thing. And I just can't wait to, to get back in the garage and see the whole, because the atmosphere of the race weekend is just, it's incredible, you know, the build up, you see people putting the grandstands together, you see people putting the garage together, then you get there, the car's being built and everything you get in the, and then the weekend just strolls on and it flies past. I wouldn't say that hearing that Michael Schumacher is not racing, uh, has decided not to race. I don't think it's a disappointing thing. I would just say it would, it would have been a pleasure to have raced against him and I grew up watching all, all of his races and it would have just been an incredible experience, I think, just to race against the, the seven-time world champion, you know, from he's a, he's a living legend. And so it would have been probably one of the coolest experiences to, to have been in Formula 1 uh, whilst he's there. But um, who knows, he may come back in the future, who knows, but uh, I just have to wish him a, a good recovery and hope that he does decide to come back later on.